Hello everyone, Justin Tico back again with you and we're back with more La Seraphim. Now I saw this video pop up in my feed last night and I thought, well, I've got to react to it. Kazuha, Kazuha, Cheryong from Itzy and um, Chung Ha, who's a solo artist. Those three are pretty much revol uh, you know, they're, they're pretty much going around a revolving door all the time for who my number 10 is because one through nine obviously is all the twice members. Number 10, it'll change between Cheryong from Itzy, Kazuha from La Seraphim, and then Chung Ha. But uh, I definitely want to check this out. I uh, didn't expect another music video to be coming up so soon from these young ladies. Um, I liked Anti-Fragile and Fearless. I didn't love them, but I did enjoy them. I've listened to them several times. And uh, I want to see what this is about. This is called Impurities. I'm not sure if they have another full album. No, not, not full album. I don't think they've had a full album yet. Not sure if they have another album coming with this or if this is just a single, but um, we're going to get into this. Link to the original video will be in the description below. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit, and let's get this started. I'm genuinely curious as to whether they did this in post-production or if this was a part of the shoot and they had they had something over the girls doing this. I, I, I really like the look of this so far. I have no idea what the song is going to sound like. I didn't see any teasers. This, this caught me completely off guard, but I like what I'm seeing visually already. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have an R&B vibe going here? I like this a lot. Oh, I like this a lot. I like the way, oh, I, I need to hear this again. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Is this going to be my favorite non twice song to come out this year? It already looks like it's going to be. It almost sounds like it has real instruments in there. And they could. It's possible that they do. It seems like it seems like almost all of K-pop is done with synth. I I can't stop smiling right now. It seems like it seems like most of K-pop is done with synths, but um, but there there could be a couple of real instruments being played right here, and that would be I would really like that. It's part of why I liked uh, Eyes Wide Open album by Twice so much because there were a lot you could tell that there were a lot of real instruments being played in several of the songs in that album, and uh, it, it kind of sounds like that here. Although I know that there are at least some synths going on. Oh man, okay. I'm going to try to not pause too much and rewind too much. I'm I'm already hooked. Oh. I don't know why I th I don't even know why I think it's possible that they will, but please don't let me down. I love the start. I like the way that Kazuha leaned, leaned back right there. And I like that this has 
that this is more vocally driven than the other two uh, than the other two songs that I had heard from from La Seraphim. Now, this is the type of sound. This almost has a it almost has like a TLC kind of sound to me. Uh, this almost had this almost sounds like a like I was gonna say that a moment ago. This sounds like '90s R&B to me. It sounds like '90s R&B. It's not even it's not '80s and it's not 2000s. This sounds like '90s R&B to me. And um, and this would this would be perfect to have a rap in it. I know there's gonna be rap in this because it fits so well with this kind of style. TLC made a killing off of this uh but i I, li I really like what i'm hearing so far i like that they're that they're going with the vocals more here and again the the steps the, i like the choreography so far as well Okay, so they started with the chorus. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, okay. I didn't know they were starting with the chorus, but then whenever I saw these words repeat, I realized that this is the chorus. Oh, this is so good. I like the choreography right there, coming in and out like that, and then, oh boy, I like this a lot. And this is so different from the other two songs. I wasn't expecting them to go with this style. I thought they'd been pretty successful so far with with the the more, you know, empowering um uh, the word that I'm the word that I'm thinking of right now is self-esteem building, but confident. There's the word. The confident songs of anti-fragile and fearless, and this just feels like and show you my impurities. Uh, you know, I'm not afraid of the things that are imperfect about me. I'll show them to you. I'll show you who I really am. That's a that's a great message to have. I really like it. I just wasn't expecting this song style, the melody. It's so good. I hope they are successful with this. And it looks like the views aren't as high as I thought they were going to be. I think I saw like just under 4 million views on this so far. And it's a full day old. I really hope this thing takes off. I, I really like this so far. And I don't I don't see myself disliking it from this point on. I really like this. Did I see a domino lift of the arms there? I like I, I love I'm a sucker for the choreography that has the domino effect in it. This one kind of went around in a circle instead of from one side to the other. Thank you. 
I'm going. I'm going to go back and listen to this whole bridge again. I I, I like how they went around the pillars. Uh, in in following Kazuha during her rep part, uh, and then when they went to the other lady, I'm sorry, I, I know a couple of the other names, but I don't recognize. I can't put names to faces. Um, but the the background effects, the changing uh, the changing effects on the walls, I I I, it, I really like this. It's 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 much more simplistic than the other two music videos. But I just like the way everything has come together. I feel like an overly technical or an overly flashy music video wouldn't fit with this style of song. So I really, really like what I'm seeing and hearing. I like how it's all coming together. It's a chill vibe. Oh, I'm here for this. Now, now, they've outdone themselves. They have outdone themselves. Look at the floor and the lighting when this last chorus, well, I guess the last chorus started here with Can You See, huh? Look at the lighting in this last chorus. Oh, my goodness. Right there. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm here for all of this one. Crimson Heart. So maybe it is a new album? I will be checking out more of this album if it is a new album. I have to. Especially after hearing that. I have no idea if that's going to be the style of the album or not. Give me more of that. Give me more of that. Now, I don't know what it says about me that this was my favorite one and the other two, which so far, you know, one day later, it seems like those two came out with much more of a bang uh, than what this one has. And I'm entirely going off of views. All I can go on is the views that I see here on YouTube. I have no idea how this is being received in the K-pop community. Uh, I'm not in a La Seraphim Discord yet, I don't think. I need to find one. But I don't think I'm in No, I am in a La Seraphim Discord. I am in one. I, it's, I, haven't, I haven't talked very much in it. But um, I, I need to go in there and see what, what they're saying about this and what they think about this in comparison to the other two videos and title tracks because... Uh, the style is much, much different. This is more up my alley, personally. And again, I don't know what it says about me, you know, in comparison to the average K-pop fan, if you will, if there is an average K-pop fan, that this is what I like more than the other two. I loved everything about this song. I almost wish it had gone up just a little bit more. It just... If you think about it, and now that I am, it just, it started here, and it just stayed right along that same line the entire time. There was no lift in the melody. There may have been an extra instrument or two added in the background, you know, as the song progressed. I actually didn't really notice it very much, uh, but it felt like it just stayed along the same line the whole way through, and I guess... I guess from a, a composition and arrangement standpoint, you would want just a little bit of a raise, uh, a little bit more, and maybe there was more as far as volume and just just overall sound toward the end, but everything really just stayed along the same plane, which I'm okay with. It doesn't have to build and, and just have this huge drop at the end or at each chorus. It doesn't have to do that. 
Um, but it, it kind of feels like everything just stayed the same the entire way through. Now, it's a good thing that I loved what I was hearing there. Because, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I think everything just, just stayed the same the whole way through. But anyway, loving this. Going to look into Crimson Heart. See if that is an album name. See how many tracks it has on there. Might go through the album. I think La Seraphim, it's going to be twice one, probably Itsy 2, and then La Seraphim 3. I think that's going to be my three main groups um, for now. I still want to listen to Red Velvet, Aespa. I'm playing a game on mobile called Epic 7. It's a Korean mobile RPG, and Aespa is having a freaking collab this week. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna get to play as Karina and Winter and and the other, the other uh, members of of Aespa, which is mind blowing. I never thought there would be a K-pop group, uh, being in a game like that. But anyways, I've got a lot more groups that I want to check out. I hope you're all here for it. That's gonna do it for this video. Love this song. Absolutely fantastic sound. I I I loved every second of this song. Um, but anyway, Jesus loves you. I love you. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day, everyone. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. I want, I want to know what you thought in comparison to the other two title tracks, so let me know.